So we're going to be talking about two things in this video. One, we're going to be talking about Cringy and how Katie Morton's trying to fuck her over. No, not trying to. She did. And we're going to be talking about something that just happened that I just saw that I'm like, okay, I need to make a bigger video about this because it's to a point where it's ridiculous. Someone else getting hacked. Yay, don't you love when your favorite YouTuber or YouTuber that you've been following all of a sudden uploads a video and it's not them? Yeah, I love that. I love when that happens. Anyways, let's get into the first thing, which I'm gonna now choose to be the hacking thing. I don't know why, but I'm gonna do that. There's a YouTuber on this site. His name is Grazer. Now, I haven't watched Grazer in a very long time. I haven't been keeping up with his stuff because he mainly makes like Minecraft-esque stuff and like I just don't watch that shit anymore. I like Minecraft. I even like Minecraft content sometimes, but it's kind of getting boring and stuff. And I don't really watch him, to be 100% with you, but I'm still subscribed to him. Apparently, I'm subscribed to Euro News because that's the notification I got on my phone just a second ago. And at first I was like, oh, you know, YouTube sometimes does do like a weird thing where they subscribe me to channels I didn't subscribe to. So I'm like, oh, okay, maybe this is one of them. So I went to go like unsubscribe to them, but I'm like, they don't got any videos. Hmm. Peculiar. But they have a lot of subs. I'm like, fuck, somebody got hacked. So I turned over to see who it was and it was fucking Grazer. And I'm like, but why though? I expect this to be anybody but a gaming YouTuber. The fuck? And I saw before my own eyes his content being like privated. Like at first it was a bunch of old videos were still there. But then it was like, whew, they were gone as soon as I went back to this. But I know for a fact it was him because all his community tab still had all the posts on there. So it showed when he hit a million subscribers. And I'm like, oh, okay, so this was crazy. This is fucking insane. And I went on his Twitter afterwards and he was like, Haha, yeah, it was a hacking. And I, my life is, I'm not good in my life right now. Again, I don't think my man deserves it. I don't think he's ever done anything wrong. And I don't care even what you did wrong unless you are killing people. Eating babies, you're a pedo. I don't think your channel should get hacked ever, period. And this is actually a big running problem with YouTube. I'm going to make a video about this and I'm going to be finding every hacked channel I can think of and compile it into a big video of like, YouTube, this is getting ridiculous. Especially because these are big channels that you can very much get in contact with over phone, email, everything, and it seems like you're just not doing your job or you need to update something to where this doesn't happen anymore. Again, you guys can take our money, but apparently you can't help us out. And that's all I have to the story right now. It's, God, this is getting ridiculous, man. Now let's go on to the next thing. Okay, my comment section is always pretty bare and I feel like it's because you guys really have nothing to talk about in the video, you know? But I'm gonna give you something today. I need you guys to judge me here. <laughs> Tell me if it's bad if I pick Twitter as my porn site over all the others. Because low-key, most of the pornographic images I get are from Twitter. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that like it's full nudity. It just might be a classy, lewd piece of art. And I'm like, oh, okay, save that one. Judge me, please. Anyways, now that I have your attention, today we're gonna be talking about my girl Cringy over here. But no, we're not like friends or anything. I've been watching her content for a while. I enjoy her. I don't agree necessarily everything she says and, and I don't always watch her either. But when I do watch her and she talks about topics that I want to listen to it's pretty a1 i enjoy her content for the most part anyways and even when i don't it's not like it's a it's a super arguable topic where i would care enough to do so but we're not talking about how great her content is we're talking about how katie morton took down her video because she's scum katie morton is a youtuber here that's more part of the mental health side of youtube a side that I don't even want to look into because, God, when it comes to mental health, honestly, that side of YouTube, it's low-key reminds me of conspiracy theories. <laughs> and let me explain. When it comes to your mental health, a lot of it's trial and error. A lot of it has to do with you. Some of it has to do with things you can't control. It's a whole lot when it comes to your actual mental health. And when it comes to mental health professionals or even just people that are trying to help you out, you have to collect a certain amount of data over time to be able to even understand what someone is going through. And so 
when it comes to these quick videos that explain things, even though they may be helpful, even though sometimes they're totally harmless, when it comes to that side of the community, it's just such a, do you want to hear something quick and palatable that may not even apply to you, but will make you feel good as a person and you may not even really get anything out of it, but it's like watching Dr. Phil. It makes you feel better about yourself just even for a moment which can be helpful but also toxic so i don't really like touching that side of youtube but i'm gonna be touching on her in this video because she straight up took down cringy's video and not only that but she got a strike for that because why not be more of a douchebag now when i first heard this i was angry because i'm like what but i also was like you know let me give katie the benefit of the doubt let me not think this is a malicious thing then i read more into it and i'm like oh okay so this is just some bullshit she has her bootleg ass company happy smiley saddy dopey i don't know what the fuck it's called this company right she got her bootleg ass company apparently just taking down videos that use her very public picture of her face it's not like it came from a private account it's not like it came from like even a personal account like a facebook account or something or even then if you make it public that's your dumbass fault but it didn't come from any of those types of places it's very public it probably was just like she googled it and found it like why are you taking her video down for that and i'm assuming she didn't want to take her video down for anything else solely because there was nothing else to take her video down for i don't know cringy personally and i didn't even watch the video but just from her character alone, so take this with a grain of salt, from the character I've seen of her, sure she can be harsh, sure she can be hyperbolic sometimes, sure she can be overdramatic. Aren't we all? We're commentators. That's kind of part of the whole deal here is to be overdramatic. But she would never like be like, you know what's a fact? Katie Morton eats babies. Like she's not gonna do something like that. So I don't understand what in that video would hurt her feelings so much to where she would take it down because i see other videos of her up that use her picture and her likeness is there something about the specific picture that she doesn't like in that case why didn't she just contact her to change it why didn't she give her the option or rather why didn't she put her video back up and just be like hey i don't like that picture or that picture something happened with that picture where i can't use it anymore can you just like you know use a different picture for your thumbnail you know just change it real quick i just i don't know what excuse she could find for not using a fucking public ass picture but whatever you know what i mean maybe some legal issues i don't know i don't fucking know i'm trying to find something but she didn't do any of that she was just like i'm gonna be a dick pew i'm taking the video down and shocker if you thought, oh, well, she can just appeal it. It was obviously fair use. There's nothing that should be a problem here. You haven't been watching how wacky YouTube has been, have you? And I don't mean just the community on YouTube. I mean YouTube itself. It has been a fucking dumpster fire lately. I want to say first, it started with the fucking rampant ass hacking problem that they still haven't fixed and has been happening to many people all through YouTube. Next, it was people getting copyright striked and video takedowns all the fucking time. Like, this isn't the first time I've seen this. I'm pretty sure it didn't critical and Markiplier have a whole thing not too long ago about this shit and now people's whole ass channels have been being terminated for absolutely no reason or some bullshit reason or they're not even getting a reason people they're just taking down channels I mean just taking them down Belle Delphine's channel just went down and got reinstated thank god but they were like ah too much nudity have you ever seen Money by Cardi B. People always say, what about WAP? Fuck WAP. Have you seen Money by Cardi B? There's full nipples in that. People busting it wide open. They're like, ah, Belle Delphine. You don't even really got ass like that. You don't got them cakes, but too much. Too much. Leafy is debatable, but I still think it was really unfair for that to happen. They could have got him on so many other stuff, but they were like, nah, bullshit reason. We still got predators on this site. It's all, it's all a lot, okay? Needless to say, YouTube has been fucking up lately. So of course, when she tried to appeal this situation, they were like, okay, we'll look into it. And then came back with some bullshit. 
basically, from what I read in summary, it was basically they were like, yeah, we see it's fair use, or at least our robots don't understand that it's fair use. So we just, we just gonna take it down. We just not even gonna give you much chance. So yeah, yeah. In a nutshell, I'll put images on screen so you can read them yourself. Again, can't stare at the screen for too long, so I'm sorry that I'm not reading it, but in a nutshell, they they didn't help her out. The appeal went nowhere. Hell, Katie couldn't even show proof that this wasn't fair use in any way, shape, or form, but we're dealing with YouTube, so why am I surprised that this happened? Cringy has been tweeting at Katie, being like, hey, bitch, can you, like, can you please not like be an asshole and give me my damn video back please like i think you're blatantly ignoring hell it's weird that this even happened again from a public photo that means either you wanted this to happen or you personally did this now i don't want to think that she personally is after a small creator that's kind of silly to me to think that but it's always a possibility i think it's more of like she just doesn't want people using that picture for some reason or she wants to take down those types of videos and that's the reason she said to give people like I believe that the reason she said it's the company is because she's just paying someone else to do this shit for her so I think she just went to the person that she's paying and just like hey any video that you think is obviously critiquing me to where you don't have to watch it you know so you don't get to do that much work because we don't care if it's fair use or not I just care if they're insulting me if they're blatantly insulting me just just take it down if it's a big enough channel don't do it because then i'll get into a bunch of shit but if it's a small enough channel, just take it down that's what i assume now my theory could be wrong and i could be crazy and being over dramatic that's totally a possibility but at this point either way is wrong either way is wrong it shouldn't have happened it's some bullshit and we need to be talking about this because the hell is happening here? YouTubers have been wilding themselves doing shit like this and thinking it's okay and it's not okay. But I just wanted to make a video on it and tell you guys about it because that shit actually makes me like genuinely irritated and angry. Like, the, why would you even do that? Like, that's just being petty to be petty and it's just fucking stupid, you know? Even though there's not much we can do about it other than yell at YouTube to get some shit done like we always try to do, but... Other than that, it's kind of like a waiting game. It's That shit's frustrating. I'm not even going through it. I'm already frustrated. But yeah, you should go over to her channel. If you like her content, you should sub to her. If you don't like her content, that's cool. Just say something nice. Because this is kind of some bullshit. Or go tweet at uh, Karen. Oh, not Karen. I'm sorry. <laughs> go tweet. <laughs> she's not a Karen. Well, I don't watch her content. So I don't know if she's a Karen. But go tweet at Katie, please. And be like, you know respectfully be like hey bitch no why you do why you can you not can you stop please but i'll see you guys later bb